Hi guys, before I bought my CZ75 PCR, I knew I was going to change the sights. The stock sights on these guns are adequate at best. They are really not ideal. They're not what you want to have. Uh, they have fluorescent, phosphorescent paint, which will glow for a few minutes if you charge it with a flashlight or a light bulb or a sunlight. Um, not really ideal. If you're concealed carrying it and you have it in the dark all day, when you pull it out, chances are if you need it in low light situation, the sights are not going to glow at all. I knew I was going to replace the sights. I start searching around who makes sights for the PCR. And I know everybody's going to say um, Cajun Gunworks and uh, I forget the other one off the top of my head. There's another one that's uh, basically the, the other one. And I think actually Cajun Gunworks used them. I'm, I'm gone, drawing a blank right now. I'm having a Joe Biden moment. I do know where I am, but so I'm ahead of Joe. Um, I knew I wanted to change these sites. I started looking around for sites for PCR, started Googling it, started searching it, started looking at CZ forums, trying to figure out who makes a site that will fit the PCR because lots and lots of the companies had a little note that says will not work for a PCR or Checkmate and a couple of others, one or two others. Um, so I start looking at the comments on Amazon. People are saying, will this site fit a PCR? People were saying, yes, definitely it will fit the PCR. Right below it was a comment, no, this site will not fit the PCR. After that, another comment. Yes, I put these on my PCR and it fit, but it had to be drilled and sanded and uh, it looks like crap. So after looking for quite a while, I was more confused than I was when I started. Uh, finally, I came across these True Glow TFX Pro sites. And uh, after reading lots and lots of reviews, people saying, yes, I have used these on my PCR. They fit great. They fit fine. Uh, nobody had a picture of it that I could see on a PCR. I've, I saw them on some other CZs. Okay. Uh, I Honestly, I don't remember where I got this right now. I think I got it from Amazon. I may have got it from eBay. Pretty, I might think it was eBay. Just because they had a better price. Uh, also, the picture they showed of the product says CZ75 series, which this does say. But the one they sent me, this was all black on the picture, which they probably blacked it out on purpose. Right here, CZ75 series with fixed rear sight excludes PCR, Rami, Omega, and check, check, my eyes are going bad, and checkmate models. It says right there. So it says right on the package, it does not fit the PCR. I've seen lots and lots of reviews online saying, yes, it fits the PCR. So now I'm finding the, the more I look into it, the more and more and more confused I get. Uh, I had already bought these sites based on reviews that said they will fit. I have a site pusher. I tried to replace the stock sites with the True Glow TFX Pro sites. I couldn't get the set screw out of the stock sights. I tried and tried and tried, and I thought, you know what, it's not worth the money. I took it to my local gunsmith, had them install the sights. Uh, I just brought them the slide and the sights, so they didn't, it, and the slide just says CZ75D Compact. It doesn't say PCR anywhere on there. So the gunsmith has no idea it's a PCR. He just has the, the compact slide. Um, he calls me back, like, I brought it in late in the afternoon. He calls me back the next day and says, hey, come and get your, your gun and your sights. Here are the True Glow TFX Pro Tritium Plus Fiber Optic Extreme Handgun Sights on the PCR. The profile is completely different than the original sights. The front blade is way, way, way longer. There was just the original... PCR has a little tab of the front sight. The uh, rear sight is very low and starts here 
and ends here. This one is a little higher, extends farther back, and starts farther back, which gives you basically the same sight radius as you had to begin with. Uh, the TFX Pro sights are really, really a marvel of engineering. They have the tritium vial here inside the covered part. They have a fiber optic tube here. And here is a high visibility orange ring to make it really, really easy to find your front sight. At night when the tritium is glowing, these glow and you don't see the orange ring at all. You get three green dots, which is fine. In low light, that orange ring really, really stands out. It's super easy to see. I'm going to try to give you... The gun is safety checked, unloaded, but just for you Nancys out there, I'm going to, I'm going to point it at myself. I don't care. That's just how I am. I don't know if I can do it. This is awkward as heck. You can sort of see the sight picture there. Sort of. There you go. Anyway. Love these sights. They're awesome. Uh, and by the way, these are sealed. Uh, some of your open fiber optic sights can be damaged easily by uh, solvents or gun cleaners or just bumping into them. These are sapphire crystal encased. They are closed in. You can't touch the fiber optic. It's under a crystal, a sapphire crystal. Um, really, really nice. These are steel. The original PCR sights are ramped. And as I said in an earlier video, impossible to rack the slide one-handed. This has a purposely designed shelf so you can rack the slide on a belt or a table or a boot or whatever you want to rack it on. It's, it's really got a sturdy, strong, deep ledge here. It makes it, And these are, like I said, these are steel CNC machines, very nicely engineered. A little expensive, but worth every penny of it. You can see here, I think you can. Let me get it in front where it'll focus. I think that's focused. You can see the original cutout here where the uh, stock rear sight went. It came up to where these serrations begin, right in here. This is, a, anyway, this is a huge improvement over the stock sights. Really, really glad I did it. There's my stainless steel guide rod in the front and my lock grips, which uh, if you haven't checked out lock grips, please do so. They are incredible. I paid for these myself. I get nothing from them. I just really, really believe in them. They are an awesome company. All right, guys, that's it. Um, I haven't really thought about doing any trigger work on this, as putting new trigger springs or anything. I'm, I'm debating whether to replace the uh, firing pin block, the firing pin roll pin here, which is known to be an issue, but uh, as far as I know, it's only after tens of thousands of rounds it becomes a major issue. If I have problems with it, that's like a $10 fix, $8 fix, buy a new solid roll pin and replace it. Uh, I'm loving the PCR Compact. It's an incredible gun. And after adding a few upgrades to it, it's even more incredible. I almost forgot to mention this, but uh, I thought this was really interesting. This is the original case that the PCR came in. And as I showed you earlier, the original sights are much, much smaller and a completely different shape than the sights that I've replaced here, the True Glow TFX Pro. And look at the cutouts on the case. It looks like this was designed to have these sights in the case. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure they know people are going to replace these sights, but look at the fit of that. Pretty amazing. All right, guys, um, that's all I got for today. I will talk to you guys later, and as always, be safe out there.